I officially welcome you to my YouTube channel, which is Das TV. If you are new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Um, to do that, click on the subscribe button right under this video. You can see the red button. I mean, there's a red button under this video. Just click on that, and you are good to go. Now, when you subscribe to this channel, what you've done is that anytime I upload a new video about whatever, you'll be the first person to get it. Remember, this channel is dedicated to teaching about health issues business and then finance these are the three things i take delight in and i'm here to enlighten you on them so far as my knowledge and experiences are concerned well today i want to talk to you about treasury bill why am i here to talk to you about this um usually i i make research on topics people complain about i'm talking about treasury bill today because of um the quest a friend puts before me I quite remember when I started my national service. Um, you know, with the national service, the salary will start coming, and uh, it is wise that I think of possible ways to invest. So it came up that I had to either choose between treasury bill or fixed deposit. By then, I didn't have enough knowledge about any one of them. So what I did was I went to the bank I probably have an account with and i was given a little education with regards to that but then it didn't end there i had to still find ways of having an in-depth explanation or an in-depth understanding of um treasury bill and that is why i'm here today to share with you uh, whatever knowledge i have with regards to this um investment method you may be having a similar challenge there have been instances people would want to invest their monies in either treasury bill or fixed deposit but it looks as if these two are, you are, are probably confusing. You see, most people interchange fixed deposit with um, treasury bill and the other way around. So he, today I'm here to talk to you about um, treasury bill. I want to give you an in-depth understanding so that if you have money and you want to invest in this type of um, investment method, you will know how to expect. You will possibly know the advantages and the disadvantages and um, you can either make your choice out of that. I'm still reminding you, you may be watching me from Facebook. Um, just like my page, that's TV. You can uh, click the like button and then um, whatever video I upload on a page, you'll be the first person to get it. I always say that investment is a good thing. If you want to be rich, if you want to be financially free, um, you shouldn't forgo investments. The reason why some people are rich and others are poor is because of the understanding each one of them has with investment. Do the rich understand investment and the poor have little knowledge about it? Another thing to take note of is there's a difference between understanding it and then doing it. And perhaps um, that is what distinguishes the rich from the poor. You see, the rich may understand and then be doing investment, but the poor people may understand and not be doing anything or may not be putting into action what they know or what they understand. So this is the difference between the rich and the poor and um, if you should understand how investment works, you'll be able to um, save the little money you have and perhaps invest it into something profitable so that probably by age 40 or um, something lesser than that, you'll be financially free. We all want to go to places of interest. I mean, you are earning to go to interesting places to enjoy life or to, to see how nature works. We are eager to eat the food we want to eat. We are eager to build our dream house. We are eager to ride in a luxurious car. You should understand that all these things come with money. If you don't have money, there's no way you can do them. Um, whatever dream you have, whatever aspiration you have, um, the bottom line is you need money to bring them into reality. So today, uh, without talking much, I'll be taking you through what is this that you have to know about um, treasury bill, which is an investment method. Um, let me put this disclaimer across. I'm not a financial advisor, but then I'm only sharing with you the knowledge I have with regards to this investment method. So if you need an in-depth explanation or a better understanding of whatever I'm going to talk about here, I would advise that you see um, a qualified I mean, financial expert. You can go to your nearby bank or the bank you save with and then um, they can talk to you about this investment method. You see, most people have gone into an investment with little or no knowledge about what might come out of it. Um, don't I believe that you can't board a vehicle without knowing where you are light. 
since you have a destination and with the investment method you are ensuring you should possibly know what it really entails um how much you are going to earn at the end of the day when you invest or when you put your money into such a I mean method you see the success of investment boils down to knowing where your money is going and how it will be used and what it will be used for so if you invest your money in let's say treasury bill you should know how that money is going to grow and perhaps what that money is going to be used for because if you don't really know what your money is going to be used for it is very difficult for you to um, tell how you are going to gain interest or probably profit on that so if you want to ensue in treasury bill you must first of all understand um, where the money is going and what the money will be used for with this you may be able to deduce or tell how much um, you'll be getting on your um, principal you see it is better to make a research about the type of investment you are interested in and i think um, you'll be successful that's very very important as i said you can't buy a vehicle without knowing where you are light um, with that said i want us to learn about treasury bill and um, you see treasury bill is a popular investment policy it's a popular investment policy and in as much as it has gained popularity the majority of people um, don't know what it really entails you see this investment instrument has advantages and then disadvantages and you will, we'll be looking at them in this video so what i expect from you is to watch it to the very end and i believe that um, you are not going to be disappointed you will learn a lot from here so that with the little money you get from your job or from your i mean uh, whatever thing you are doing you can invest it profitably and at the end of the day you have enough of them to i mean you have enough of money to spend you see i want you to understand treasury bill like this the government of ghana has many projects and operations to undertake including road constructions water projects i mean business establishment and so many more um you should know that all these things require money you see the government will need money to undertake all the aforementioned projects so as a citizen um so in order for the government to carry out all these projects successfully um, the government has to gather enough money from the citizens and perhaps um, different avenues from organizations from i mean corporate avenues financial firms and some individuals who are well um, held in um, finances and you see one of the avenues which the government can get i mean beg for funds from its citizens is true treasury bill i want you to take notice of this um as i said you, the government wants to probably um, build the nation by constructing schools building roads and all of that but then you know that all these things require money so one of the ways the government can beg money from the citizens to undertake that project is through treasury bill so let's say if you are in a treasury bill or if you give your money i mean if you undertake a treasury bill investment what you have done is you have given your money to the government to use to undertake such projects so as i'm saying with this um when you can see in the treasury bill a uh, form of investment um, what happens here is that you loan your money to the government and after probably a period of time he pays you back with interest that is simple as that so basically that's a general idea so far as treasury bill is concerned you the government borrows money from you or perhaps you lend money from um, to the government and upon doing that you see the government can undertake all the projects i talked about new roads can be built in our schools can be built i mean um different employment avenues can be created now when you give your money to the government what you have done is that um you have known that's a way as a citizen you can help the government um bring those projects on board now giving your money to the government does not necessarily mean that it is going to be free of charge the government upon working with the money you've given or you've loaned to um, him would make sure that at the end of the day or within a specified period of time you are giving interest so let's say you invested you invested thousand ghana cities in treasury bill what you have done here is that you gave that amount of money to the government to undertake rules projects i mean schools projects and a whole lot of that now at the end of the day or within a specified period of time the government will have to give you this money the government will give you back this money when he is giving you back the money he's not going to give you thousand ghana cities it will be more than that 
per a percentage or probably um yeah per a percentage depending on the amount you invested or depending on the amount you give to the government so that is what you, i want you to understand treasury bill is like you are giving your money you are loaning your money to the government to work with it and at the end of the day or within a specified period he would give you the actual amount plus interest so this is a government policy and um, you give your money to the government through a certified bank so the, you, you, because you are a citizen you can't just um, or you can't directly give your money to the government um, you give your money to the government through a certified bank there are some banks in ghana who are certified to um, do the treasury bill investment method so this means that not all banks are eligible and as a matter of fact if you want to invest in this type of treasury bill you have to be very vigilant you must make sure that the bank you are investing with um deals with in um, treasury bill because not all banks are charged to do this type of investment so one bank i can actually recommend even though i have not been paid to do that is the ghana commercial bank that is where i probably did mine and i mean um if you want to have a fair idea of that you can just go to um, them and then they will give you further explanation as to how to go about it so um let's say you want to invest thousand ghana city as i cited earlier um in a treasury bill i'm not here to talk to you about the interest the amount you'll be getting at the end of the day but then i think that uh, it varies from one bank to the other so you have to depend on the bank you want to invest with you have to go there and then they will explain things to you if you are interested or if you are actually certified or satisfied with the interest rates at the end of the day then you can actually strike a business with them but then if you aren't interested there are other opportunities you can explore which i will be talking about in my subsequent videos so without knowing there are i mean certified durations the government can utilize your money um and after which you can redeem it so with a treasury bill you can loan your money to the government for i mean three specified periods one you can do that um in a in a 91 day period or in a 182 day period or 365 days period in other words you can loan your money to the government for three months or for six months or for a year and all these things come come with interest so if you are giving your money to the government for a period of 91 days remember that you are going to get interest the interest is going to be calculated based on the 91 days period if you are giving your money to the government for a period of let's say um 22 days or probably six months your interest is going to be calculated based on that so you must take note of that you have to decide how long your money should be with the government it's up to you to decide that oh i want to give the money to the government for three months and after the three months I'm expecting my interest. Oh, I want to give my money to the government for a period of one to two days, um, which is probably six months. And after the last six months, I expect the government to give me back my interest together with my principal. So this is something you have to take notice of. So for instance, if you buy a treasury bill at an amount of let's say thousand Ghana cities for 91 days, um, you can claim the principal plus the interest. I mean, the principal is the actual amount you invested. Um, so you can claim the principal plus the interest after the set period, I mean the 91 days period, or you can decide to roll over. Or maybe during that time you may not need the money for, I mean, you may not need it for anything at that particular point in time. So what you can do is to roll over. You can arrange with your bank to probably continue uh, with the process. So probably let's say if you started with three months period, you can, um, after the, the, the three months, period is due you can talk to your bank to continue so here they will add the principal to the interest and then the actual amount will be invested in the treasury bill for let's say another three months or a year so um i think my time is due to scroll to work i believe that whatever i've said here has been very very helpful to you and if it has i entreat you to share this video to as many people as you can and to all social media platforms Again, if you are watching me from YouTube, I really express my appreciation to you for watching my videos. I really appreciate that. And then the thanks cannot be left of those watching me on Facebook. I also express my profound appreciation to all those who comment and like and share my videos on Facebook. I really appreciate what you are doing. Um, I, I think you are joining the campaign to educating people about what they need to know to make their lives better. 
Thank you very much um, and I'm off to work. Hope to see you in the evening and perhaps my next video. Bye.